Welcome back to the Wayward Wags. In today's episode, we are becoming Florida residents. I never thought I'd be a Florida resident ever again. <laughs> That's right. We are switching domicile to Florida. Yes. We were going to do this in the fall because we were going to come down here for the winter time, but yeah. down here for a family emergency and we're going to be here for a while. So we figured might as well bang it out while we're here. Exactly. I just said bang it out. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, we thought it was a, is a, it's not super complicated, but we were no. a little confused about it. So we figured, hey, it was a lot of information thrown at us. Yeah. So it was like, whoa. And we've gotten information from a bunch of different people. We've talked to people yeah. on the road and people who have used uh, different mail forwarding services. So we really got a lot of confusion on who to use too. Exactly. So we really didn't know what to do. So we did a lot of research. We talked mm -hmm. to a lot of people. We finally landed on escapees. Yes. Um, we landed on escapees for a couple of different reasons. They're reliable from what yes. we've heard. We've, they've got good reviews, good customer service. They're very responsive. Correct. And it's not super, super expensive. No. Initially, it is a little costly to set up the membership and the mail service, but from there on out, it's not terrible. Yeah, so we figured, hey, we'll do a video. Mm -hmm. For those of you who are considering changing your domicile, we'll help you out. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> so escapees, the first thing is you have to be a member of escapees, which is about yes. 50 bucks a year, mm -hmm. which there's lots of benefits. There Other than the are. mail forwarding services, you get like discounts and all yeah. kinds of cool stuff mm -hmm. through escapees. They have their own parks where you get discounts yeah. and stay at their parks across the country. So they have associations with over 800 other parks for discounts too. Yeah, and they even do annual rallies yeah. for escapee members. They do. So that's very cool too. Yeah. Um, before we decided to do this, we were relying on our daughter for mail and using our address yeah. in Alabama. Uh -huh. Well, here's a couple problems with that. A, she moves like all the time. <laughs> She's averaged one move a year so far. <laughs> so we're constantly changing our address. Yeah. And we rely on her to send us our mail in a timely fashion. Which I should have known that was a disaster from the beginning. <laughs> and she's not what I would call the best at differentiating between junk and keep mail. She's not what we refer to as reliable. <laughs> <laughs> reliable. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take you through the steps. So step one is you become a member of escapees, which like mm -hmm. I said, is about $50 a year. Yeah. The next thing you do you have to choose a category. So category A, B, or C, they have three different plans. We chose category B yes, because that is the most inexpensive category that you can get and also include the scanning service. Yes. We wanted the scanning service. C is really more for like business, I think. I, I it kind of felt that way and it was just way more specific. like if you only want certain magazines yeah. instead of just magazines, you know, and certain newsletters from certain places instead of random newsletters from people. Yeah, so, so we're it's not very that specific picky. and I'm like, we don't even get that stuff to begin with, so. And it's, it's significantly higher in price. Yes. So category B, I think we'll do everything that we need mm -hmm. and $10 a year additional for the scanning service, which is not terrible. Correct. Um, so the next thing you have to do is choose a state. Now, Escapees only offers domicile in three different states. Yes. What states are they? South Dakota, Texas, and Florida. Okay. So, we chose Florida for yeah. a very specific couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't choose South Dakota because it's just so far away. It would have been the preferred choice. Yeah. We don't have any family up there. We don't project in being there very often. Yes. So, for us, you know, we would have to go up there to get our license. Okay. And registration mm -hmm. and we're in Florida for a family emergency so we're not gonna be able to get up to South Dakota Correct. anytime soon no not soon we could get to Texas you have family in Texas, could do Texas. But Texas requires inspections yes annual inspections on your vehicle as long as you're coming through yeah you have to have well, that updated sticker and we didn't really want to hassle with that yeah so we went ahead and chose Florida Florida is is good with taxes they don't tax my retirement as Correct. a veteran uh, lots of tax breaks, lots of incentives for Florida residents. Yes. Discounts. The, the discounts is a plus for us. Yeah. So all in all, I think Florida is going to work out mm -hmm. really good for us. So after we choose the state, there is a spot on the website where you choose that state. It'll give you the packet of paperwork that you have mm -hmm. to download and print yes. and fill out. So we download that, print that, we fill it out. It has to be notarized. Yes. Because we're not delivering it to Texas. Right. Ourselves. So. It can't be done online. 
No. Because it has to be notarized. Correct. But they said it only takes a couple of days. Yeah. So you can go to any notary. We go to usually the UPS. UPS There's does a UPS it, right yeah. down the road, which we'll go to and do that. And then we'll send it out. And they said it takes a couple of days, a couple of business days for them to get that. Yeah. They'll email us back with all of the information, our new member number. Take our payment. All that good stuff. And they will also send us, they told us anyway, <laughs> they will send us everything that we need to prove our residency or domicile in Florida. Yes. And we can take that to the DMV to get our driver's license, our registrations, all that good stuff. Yes. Now, if you have a lien still on your RV or your truck, mm -hmm. you will have to contact your lien holder Correct. from whatever state that those are titled in and request them to be titled in Florida for us yeah. or whatever state that you're going to be domiciled in. Choose. Now, they don't have to do that, but if they don't do that, well, you still got to get your vehicle registered. Correct. So if they don't want to do that, they don't have to, but they will send you a letter saying we're not going to title it in that state. You can go ahead and get your, your vehicle registered in the state that you want to domicile in, even yeah. though your lien holder doesn't want to switch that title over to the current Correct. state. So you can still get it done, even if your lien holder is a pain in the butt and doesn't want to play ball. Yeah, it's not a showstopper. Yeah. You can still do it. We're going to find out <laughs> here in a couple yeah, days. We are. We're headed out right now. We just filled out all the paperwork. We're headed out right now to mm -hmm. send it out. So for you, it'll only be a couple seconds. For us, it'll be a couple of days. And we'll let you know how easy it is, what we got back, how easy the process was. Mm -hmm. And then if they really did give us everything that we need to the DMV, because <laughs> yeah. you know as well as I do, you show up to the DMV, you wait in the big long line, you get to the front, and they go, oh, that's mm. not really what we needed. <laughs> we don't need you to go get some more stuff. Yeah. So I'm... Fingers crossed, hoping that this is going to be good. I hope this is smooth. Now, another note. Your <sighs> mailing address will be different from your domicile address. Correct. So they're going to give us a domicile address. That's going to allow us to get our vehicle registered and get our driver's license. But we will do a change of address with a mailing address to Livingston, Texas. Texas. Yes, your mail will go to Texas. So that's what confuses a little bit, too. That's what threw us at first. I'm really. like... I'm changing my address to Texas, but, but I can be Florida. a I can be a resident of Florida. Yeah, apparently you can. Yeah. Well, it's been exactly one week since we sent off all of our paperwork to escapees to set up our domicile in Florida and our mailing address in Texas. And we've already gone online. They sent us all the emails that we need to set up our accounts. We have our new member number. We have all of the access to, to the website that we need. And it's really cool. It, it shows a bunch of cool stuff on here. You get like news and highlights and different uh, access to like RVers boot camp. You have access to all of their escapees magazines. So you can go back and look at any of those from the, from the past. So that's very cool. And then it breaks down for you exactly what you need to go get your driver's license, which is what we're going to be doing today. They give you a, a home agreement and a letter of acknowledgement that they send you in your emails also. And they claim that these two documents alone are enough to go get your driver's license. We're about to find out. So we're going to drive about an hour from where we are now because that is the county in which we are going to be domiciled in Florida. So we have to physically go to that county to the DMV to get everything done. Now we are taking a couple more documents with us. We will also be taking today a uh, VA disability claim letter that tells them that I am 100% uh, disabled through the military, through the VA, and that's going to give them uh, the information they need to put this stamp or something on my driver's license that tells you that you are a disabled veteran because there's different perks that you get as a Florida resident and a disabled veteran. I'll also bring a copy of my DD-214. Uh, that just verifies and validates everything that on that letter is true, that I am a veteran of the Army for 20 years. It breaks down all my service, all my stuff from the military, to tell them exactly what they need to put on my driver's license. We also bring up a copy of our birth certificates and our marriage license, because that is one of the requirements that you have to have also. So, we're headed to the Sumter County DMV. And hopefully, shortly, we will have Florida driver's license. We are technically already Florida residents because we already have our address. We already have our domicile. We just got to get the ball rolling and everything else. So we'll let you know how it goes today at the DMV. we get our driver's license. And then we'll start working on the registration, insurance, and all the other cool stuff. Boom. Oh, just like that. <laughs> we are Florida residents. Yep. And For the second time. Yeah, we, we were residents before. Yeah. Back long, in high school. Time. Yeah. It's been a long, long time. No. But we're back. Yep. Um, as advertised, the paperwork that escapees gave us. Yes. Worked. Did. They said that all you'll need to prove 
that you are Florida residents. And I'm like, this, these two pieces of paper. I'm and I'm skeptical like, of people I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, it's an hour drive to get yeah, there. Yeah. And it's an hour drive to get back. And so once right. you get there, I don't want to be messed up. So, yeah. But it did work out. That's all yep. we needed for that. We needed all the, a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. But that's the stuff that you would need to get a license in any, in any state. state. But to prove your residence, normally you'll need like a bill or a piece yeah. of mail Something. or insurance or whatever. But you don't need any of that. Escape Peace gives you these two pieces of paper. And it's really all, all you need. Yeah. Um, so everything worked out. We were only there for about a half hour. Mm -hmm. Got everything transferred over to Florida. Now we got to work on the registration process. Yes. That's a whole different deal. It has nothing really to do with Escape yeah. Peace. That's just your normal vehicle registration yeah. requirements of whatever state that you're in. Yes. So for us, it's going to be a little cumbersome because we have to send we have a lien holder. So. Yeah, a request out to our lien holders yeah. to transfer our title over to Florida from Alabama. But it all should happen within a few weeks. They yeah. said it's a pretty quick process, mm -hmm. so we'll get all that knocked out. But hey, escapees working out so good so yes. far for the residency stuff anyway. Yeah. Haven't really tried out the mail program, but I'm sure it's fine. We've heard yes. nothing but good things. They give you tips and tricks and they stuff. They do rallies yeah. and stuff. Escape so, Peace. Yeah. I'm sure they have a Facebook group. Yes, they do. Yeah, so we'll yes, join the do. Escape Peace Facebook group too <laughs> and get to know some people in there. That's right. But hey, if you want to learn more about Escape Peace or their mail system or their domicile for all the states that they offer, mm -hmm. we'll leave a link down in the description. Make sure you let them know that the Wayward Wag sent you. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, stick around for a few yeah. seconds. We're going to honor Fallen Hero. <laughs> If you want to get involved with helping us help vets, everything you need to know, right down there in the description. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.